Hello and welcome back to my channel, beautiful people. So I'm going to do an acrylic set using Paradise Punch. Oh my god, it's orange. Shocking yellow. Crystal clear. Mega white, all of the above from Nail Nails. I'm going to use Nail Sugar's Lava Lamp. Mm, Dippy Hippy. Sundays. And I'm also using my custom making as a busy number 10 brush. I've got some hot pink microfiber and coral microfiber from Neo Nails. So I'm going to use these to create a neon set. Because look at that weather out there. It's beautiful. This is probably summer. And then that'll be it. And by the time we're allowed back out, there won't be any sun. <laughs> the joys of. I hope that you're all surviving this. Um, and distracting yourself in creative ways. So yeah, I'm putting down a white base on this nail. Anybody else hate working with white? Because I know I do. I hate it. But hey. I don't know what I was doing at this bit. I get there in the end though. It's just a wee bit. Aye. <laughs> so now I'm going in with some of the yellow and I'm just kind of putting a wash of that on. I used the white to make it pop more. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to put a, a wash of that here, there, and everywhere. Just a little bit more white there. Oops, that was the postman at the door. <laughs> it was a bit of a racket kids and all that running about. Um, right, so I'm putting a bead of clear on there, just spreading that down now, and then taking the microfiber, I'm going to push that into the wet acrylic. Just randomly smoosh it in. It's a technical term, that smoosh. And I'm just going to take my, my scissors, not my snizzles, my scissors and snip that off. And then I'll cap it and clear. There we go, all capped and clear. Don't worry about those wee bits that's hanging out when we file that, that'll be fine. It'll get rid of all of that jazz. So now I'm going onto the middle finger and I'm just gonna put a bit of white at the top and brush that down. And then going to come in with some of the yellow again and put a wash of that. I was just going with the flow with this set. I was just messing around and just went with it. So yeah. So I'm just putting the white down as a background again to make the colours pop a bit better. They're pretty well pigmented, um, but like when you're doing this wash, 
you would definitely need a white background if you just want to do a kind of wash of colour. Love this pink, it's got sparkles through it, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I can't cope. These just scream summer. Summer! That was the nail screaming. Anyway, <laughs> it's okay. Honestly, five, nearly six weeks in the house will do this to you. There we go. So I'm just going to keep adding bits here and there until I'm satisfied. Again, this is going to be a background because I'm going to put on the glitters. I have to say though, that pink with the, the iridescent glitter through it is just... Love it! I'm not looking for this to be tidy at all. Like I said, I'm just going with the flow. So once I've done that, I'm just going to add some clear acrylic and then place some of the glitters. So I'm going in with the pink one first. I can't remember what the names are off the top of my head right now for the colours. But um, yeah. So I'm using this one, the pink one, <laughs> over the pink. I'll use the yellow over the yellow, which I think is Sundays. I think that's Sundays. Um, and I think the orange is Lava Lamp. Oh, so the pink must be Happy Dippy. That's what it is. So the orange is Lava Lamp. There, I got there in the end. Some more happy dippy. These are so beautiful. I'm just going to cap that in clear. I really should have waited until those glitters had dried a bit, but I didn't. I was impatient and I just went ahead and did it. It was okay though. But I would suggest to leave that, go on to the next day and come back and cap it, but there we go. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, on to the ring finger. So I'm going in with a bit of white at the cuticle area and brushing that down. This nail is going to be a marble. Um, yeah, just go with it. <laughs> so I've dipped in the yellow and the white, and then the pink and then the orange, and then I'm just going to swish it. It was far too dry as you can see, so it didn't really move the way I wanted it to. Like I said, I don't know if it was the temperature in the room or whatever that day, but yeah, it's a bit messy. But trust the process, we get there in the end. So I'm just going to continue adding on beads of each colour, just randomly, no particular order. That one was a bit wetter, thankfully. Just try to cover that wee bald patch. Bald patch. Like it's got no hair on its head. <laughs> I 
I have no idea why I added that in but don't worry about it because it works out fine. If I smush it in it makes it better doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> Some of that beautiful pink. Dippy on in places and then some Sundays. I think that's some of the lava lamp. Not sure. But either way, just a mixture of the colours on there just to kind of give it some sparkle but not covering the whole nail in, in glitter, just parts of it. And then kept it in clear. Yeah, it's a bit lumpy bumpy this one, but we get there in the end. <laughs> Like I said, filing is your saviour. There we go. On to the pinky. So on this one I'm going to do a three-way ombre. And I actually think this is my favourite nail. So I'm going in with the pink at the cuticle area. Just brushing that down. And then I'll go in with the orange in the centre. These two colours go very well for ombre. Just brushing that up and down. Then leave a bit more in there to build up the colour of the orange. yellow at the tip. Blending that upwards into the orange. Keeping this mega fine um, so that we can work that ombre without it getting too bulky because you do need to cap these in clear as they're not um, core powders, the design powders. There we go. I'm just going to keep working on this blend. Um, but it wasn't too bad. Considering I've never done a three-way blend before. So yeah, I've finally done it. So I think I could try it again, definitely. Try not to get your acrylic that wet that it's going to flood the cuticles and touch the skin because uncured product is the going to result in allergies sometimes not all the time but it can take years to happen or it can happen straight away so you really want to try not to get anything on the skin that isn't cured whether that's acrylic gel whatever Helga the hand, Helga the hand, it's okay for her because she isn't technically a real person with a hand so we can forgive me getting on this but if it was a client I, I definitely wouldn't want to get that on the skin.
There we go, some of the Sundays at the tip and just blended that up the way. And then I'm going to cap. So now that's all capped, I'm going to file off camera and here is the result. So now I'm going to top coat. Oh my god, don't you love top coat time? It's the best. <laughs> so here we are. I wish I could get the glitters to show up a bit better for you. I'm going to have to figure out my lighting for that um, so that you can see it better. Isn't that just beautiful and so pretty? Again, we don't want to get that on the client. So make sure you get it off as soon as you see it. Um, the marble didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was going to. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. So. Every day is a school day. There we go. And I love the ombre. I think that's definitely my favourite nail, is the ombre. All done. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp, cure it, and here's the final result. So I hope that this set has brightened up your day and give you some distraction from all the crazy world things that are going on at the minute. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this, give me a wee thumbs up. Don't forget I'm on social media as well, on Instagram and Facebook, if you would like to check that out. Um, so yeah, have a good week and hopefully this will all change very soon for us all and we can get out of the house. Yes, that would be great. Um, so yeah, Take care everybody, stay safe and stay creative.